right there, Latin AP, here we go. 535. Uh, the battle is just going on and on. Um, when this command had been most strictly obeyed, uh, whenever any cohort had gone out from the circle and had made an attack, uh, the enemies were very swiftly fleeing away. Meanwhile, uh, in the part that was made bare, necessarily, uh, and on the open side, missiles were received. So, uh, if you've got guys coming out, okay, so they're, they're in a, a shield circle, okay, see that circle right there? They're in a shield circle, very easy to defend. But if somebody comes out right where their arrow is pointing, suddenly that circle is broken. So the guys on either side are, are uh, unprotected. And all the guys that have come out, let's say it's my finger that they've come out, then on either side of my finger, they are now flanked. Um, by flanked, I mean people can shoot things at them at uh, both ends. God, I miss having my whiteboard with you guys. I really, really do, because we could, we could actually act this out. And it would be rad. So if you're still seeing this uh, just as practice, this is what happened during the plague times. Anyway, uh, yeah, they were most swiftly fleeing away, and then that part that was laid bare and on the open flanks uh, received missiles. Uh, by missiles, I mean uh, the, the tela, the, the darts. Um, again, whenever they, uh, our men, had began to return to the place from which they had gone out, in other words, a retreat, a uh, tactical retreat, um, they were surrounded both by those Gauls who had yielded, who had retreated, so they retreated and then they start pushing back, and by those who had stood next to them, in other words, the ones that were on either side of them. Um, but... If, however, they wish to keep their place, um, then there was no spot left for bravery, and nor could they avoid the darts that were being hurled at them with such a great number uh, because they were crowded together. So they're stuck together in this big circle, and then you can't fight because everybody's jammed up together trying to protect. So then some of them go run out, and then suddenly there's nobody to fight against. Uh, and then when they retreat, then everybody mobs them, and then they get back, and then pretty much everybody's jammed up again. It must have been very frustrating, and it must have sucked. Nevertheless, um, I like saying nevertheless when there's Tommen. I like saying nevertheless as often as I can. So if you see Tommen, try using nevertheless. Even though uh, they were afflicted, they were um, overcome, uh, assailed, with so many disadvantages, and they had received so many wounds. They, the Romans, uh, noticed, though, that it's uh, there's no our guys anymore. That should be a signal. They had been so... Uh, they, they had been fighting back so hard. They had been fighting back, and once a large part of the day had been taken up... Although from uh, although they had uh, fought from first light, so from dawn through the eighth hour, it's eight hours later. Like right now, it's like five thirty, um, and I got up way too early. Um, I got up while it was still dark um, at six, so this is eleven hours. They fought for three hours less than this. So basically right around the time school would be ending. They fought that whole time. Fought. Like people are dying next to you. Things are getting thrown at you. No bathroom breaks. No water breaks. No nothing. They fought for eight hours. Um, they were doing nothing of the sort that would be unworthy of themselves. So they didn't shame themselves through their actions despite how bad it was. Then, oh, here's where it got really juicy, right? And no pun intended there. Um, Titus Belwentius, who had the previous year led uh, the first, um, the primus pilum, the first pike, the first javelin. He was literally the tip of the spear, as it were. He was the first centurion. It's a very honored position. He's the guy that charges out. Remember Crastinus, who's like, you're either going to thank me whether I'm a living or dead, like from book three? That guy, right? This is Belwentius. The previous year had been the chief centurion brave man and the greatest uh, autoritas, the, the, the greatest, I don't want to just say authority because it's not just that, the greatest commanding presence. Like, 
this guy. He had been struck through by a spear in each thigh. Now the question for me is this, did he get stuck in each thigh this way or did he get turned into a foosball guy, right? Where you can just spin them and make them kick the ball. I don't know. I can't tell from the grammar. But both his legs are pierced by a spear. Quintus Lucanius, of the same rank, fighting most bravely, when he came to the aid of his son who had been surrounded, was killed. Lucius Aurunculeus Cotta, the legate, the guy in charge, while encouraging his troops and ordering up their ranks, got hit in the middle of his face with a slingshot. We'll stop it there. Ow. All right, I'm going to hit the button.